WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a uh, mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. It's the Russell that's off just slightly. And the semis are down 50 points. Otherwise, other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. 282 points for the Dow. That's about a nine-tenth of a percent move. The S&P about seven to six-tenths at uh, 25 points. Six-tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 86 points there. You've got gold trading out at 2006, 2007. That's up eight bucks. Silver is trading out at 23.41, a 52-cent move there. Lights Read Crude is back $2.50. Natural gas up a nickel. 30-year Treasury down one. Down to 17 ticks, trade out at 108.31. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini. What we have is today we'll complete a TD nine count bottom pattern. Now there's a new daily profile that is attempting to form. At the moment, support is at 41.46. Resistance is up in the 42.44 to 43.17 range. This profile will not be complete until day's end, but we will complete a TD nine count bottom and at a minimum price should rally towards the oscillator and change zone. We'll take a look at that value during the Trader's Edge show. Spot volatility still above its 50-day exponential moving average, so any rug pulls should be to the downside. The NQ will also complete a TD nine count bottom. It's got a new profile that's also attempting to form. It's shifted about three or four times in just the last four or five hours out here. At this stage, we now have support in the 14,240 level, and resistance is in the range of 14,838 to 14,938. The U.S. dollar index continues to find resistance at the top of its profile. That's where it's consolidating within. The top is at 106.42. The bottom is at 105.57. It has rose momentum indicator top resistance up at 107.05. Gold's attempting to break out of its TD9 count top. It'll accomplish that task with a close above 2,920. If it does that, that'll suggest a further rally. Silver would need to close above 2392, really 2393, to confirm that it's ready to move into breakout mode. Lights recruit just to consolidate with inside its daily profile, price trading back into its support structured area. That area is between 8143 and 8388. The natural gas, it's a little booger. It is testing the top at swing point back here from October 3rd. You'd love to see this continue. We'd like to see this close at day's end above $3.33.327. If you do that, well, maybe, maybe you've got a test and rejection of that swing low out there. If we take a look at the 30-year Treasury, it's not doing too much. And even if it did try to do a little bit, meaning move higher, it's got that descending trend line resistance. So just narrow-bodied candles out there, not a whole lot to get you interested. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.